Baylor is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. up the loose ball and down he goes around the 23 yard line yep and this is why you need to know where the ball is at all times from their own 23 yard line it's second down he steps out at about the 25 yard line and it's caught and he's brought down quickly I'd say that went about as well as the defense hoped it would that makes it fourth and four And this one is a beauty. It's a fumble. It's scooped up by the offense. From their own 35-yard line. First down. Here's a run. About four yards and a counter to the halfback. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. That makes it first and ten. to about the 37-yard line. That's good for the yards. Not over here. First down. Not over here. Hand off to the right. Runs right for a nice game. That's a good one. That'll make it second and four. Mike seven. Kill and he tackles him hard at the 22-yard line. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long-range yards. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Here we go, here we go. Seven's the mic. Red two. Green. Go. And he is drilled at the five-yard line. Number watch 14, watch 14. That's what I do. That makes it first and goal. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And he shoved out of bounds at the one. That's good for a game four yards. That makes it third and goal. They'll make the sack. The defensive end just put on a clinic that time. You know, they might want to double team this guy with the back the next time they pass. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. Baylor could take the lead with this field goal. 
It's up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Baylor's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Gets it off as he's hit, completes, and he's tackled at the 44-yard line. As I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down to keep the defense guessing. And he's immediately tackled. rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. There's a fumble. Defense has it. It's one of the corners. And he hits him hard at the 38. Man, that is a tough break for the offense. You connect with your wideout, hoping to make a play, and he winds up losing control of the ball. Man, that hurts. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Baylor is up a field goal. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. That brings him second and five. Check, check. Got an opening. Good outside run there. Brings him down. Four down. Mike seven. Mike seven. Yellow three. Seven. Yellow three. <laughs> Makes the catch and look out. Knocked out of bounds around the 27 yard line. This receiving core runs some great routes. And that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. Black ball. And he's going to come up with a sack. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some this defense. Quarterback drops back to throw. You got gun shy and concerned about the defense. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's going to long. Side after a nice pickup. That's good for him. Four down, four down. Green nine, green nine. And this one's going to get intercepted. When he was facing a big pass rush, the ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. From their own 20 yard line. It's first down. He's taken down around the 38-yard line. timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. From their own 38-yard line, second down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. 
Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. That's a great job by both the quarterback and the receiver. The quarterback made a great read and throw, and the receiver split the zone coverage with a beautiful post route. Well done. Steps out of bounds around the 47-yard line. That makes it second and eight. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Slings it. They'll bring him down at the 37. the stop the 27 yard line an exciting first quarter comes to an end three nothing Baylor that'll make it second in inches welcome back tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play he's tackled at the 31 Lost of four yards on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Fires it out. What a play, and that is first and goal. the 10 yard line the offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen but getting up to the linebackers that way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level here's the 12th play of the drive throws it out and it falls incomplete big third and goal can the defense stop him That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. Texas Tech can tie it up here with this kick. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. it in a hurry. Brought down at about the 37-yard line. Number 29 makes the tackle. The 37-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Red kill. 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 Yellow. Yellow three. three. Yellow three. Yellow three. three. He goes out of bounds at the 41. That's a game four on one ball. That makes it second and six. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, D. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. Go! 
Complete. He's got room. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it second and two. Mike seven. Mike seven. Easy. X. Blue. Twenty. Go. He's on the run. He makes his way to about the 28. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Black five. Black five. Green. Well, the defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He gets sacked on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. that he's met immediately that's a loss of four yards well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play they read it from the get-go Baylor is looking to go up by three kicks up and it's off the upright, no good. Anybody who tells you that football isn't a game of inches might want to have a talk with this kicker. It doesn't get any closer than that. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. That brings up second and nine. Passes to his tailback again. And down he goes at the 33 yard line. and he's got room here. And they push him out at the 28. That brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 28-yard line. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Gets to about the 14-yard line. Two-yard carry by the fullback. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. From the 14-yard line, second down. He's hit and taken down. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. to the halfback, touchdown! These guys don't get tense down by the end zone. Sometimes a young quarterback will make a silly mistake or a receiver will come down with a case of stone hands, but not with this group. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 61-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. The score now, 10-3. He really got a hold of that kick. 
The Bears know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. Dog four. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Third and five situation. Ball on the 30-yard line. Here's the halfback on the screen, and he's tackled at the 33. The Red Raiders, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. The offense really came up with a nice drive their last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. That'll make it second and long. Texas Tech is up seven. He got it! At the 30, to the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Red Raiders! Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. And he hits the PAT. Quick two-play, 67-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. They'll spread the field with five wide. and it's almost picked off. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 25. They'll make the sack. They've been all over this quarterback today. The pass protection has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and to cause him some problems. it to the 24 as they head to the locker rooms this one is far from over the Red Raiders lead it by two touchdowns we played 30 minutes glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The halftime lead is not insurmountable for this squad. You know, there are a lot of times when you watch the first half of the game and you start talking about mental toughness and, and energy and effort and all of those types of things. You get the sense this is more of an X and O deal for the coaches. A couple of minor adjustments that could really change the game in the second half. 
Yeah, if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it's broke, it needs to be fixed. And there's some things that you definitely see offensive and defensively that these teams need to be sharper. They need to be crisp. They need to find an edge. Maybe they need to go more up-tempo. Maybe they need to pass the football a little bit more. Defensively, maybe you need to be a little bit more aggressive. This is this is one of those things where coaches have to feel out. They have the feeling out process. They have to feel what you do well, what you're not doing well. And sometimes you need to completely go in a different direction. You're down two scores. Something good has to happen. You need to change what you've been doing because it hasn't worked. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Texas Tech's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, which has been so conservative, so predictable, has made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Little handoff. Tackle made at the 35. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at the 45. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. Easy, easy. Green, nine, 20. Looks to him again, complete. And they'll bring him down behind the line. the 46 yard line it's second down a quarterback in the gun with five receivers catches it and he's looking for more they'll bring him down right around the 38 yard line that's good for a of eight yards that makes it third and three they come out in a five wide set red two kill kill yellow three two safety yellow three Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. That was not the greatest decision to throw into that tight coverage. But he knows his receiver has unbelievably good hands. Having a target like that can be empowering for a quarterback. He's wrapped up for the sack. That'll make it second and nine. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Let's go, B, let's go. They come out on an empty backfield. Mike Red, two, go. Fires out to his receiver. And they make the stop at about the 23-yard line. Number seven on the tackle at the 23-yard line. That'll make it third and nine. Dog four. Easy. Four. Square. 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 Quick pass, and he's hit immediately. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Nice run there. That's a game seven. That makes it first and goal. Easy, easy. He fights forward to about the seven. That brings him second and goal. Mike seven. Go kill, kill, kill. X seven. Motion, motion, motion. Reset. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. That makes 
still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. It's up, and the field goal is good. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Here comes the offense as they look to find the end zone yet again. He's to the 40. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Oh, great catch. Tackled around the 37-yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. That's good for a that brings up second and nine. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. And he tacks on the extra point. So a five-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback for Texas Tech. They're really getting after the quarterback tonight. Great job by the defense tonight, getting into the backfield and creating issues for this line. They also gotten them to turn it over twice. They're still allowing the passing game to click. Well, when you come after the quarterback and you don't get there, it usually leaves somebody open, or at least some space to work with. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Catches it, and that's all. That's a game of five on the play. That's coming out quick. Third down. Dog kill. Blue four. Three. Blue four. That's a great tackle at the 16-yard line. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Fourth and long here after the sack. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Thank you. 
And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, this is really just one of those games where it's all coming together. He's making the right reads, he's delivering the football in rhythm, and the most important thing is he's playing with confidence. You know, the coaches told us all week this week that they thought they could expose the secondary. And right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. It's one big play after another. So give the quarterback a lot of credit, but let's not forget about the guy calling the plays. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against his defense. Got his man, can't tack on any yardage. So at the end of three, the Red Raiders lead 24-6. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He scrambled. And he's taken down at the 39-yard line. out to his wide out. And down he goes, around the 26-yard line. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That'll bring up second and three. and he's got his man. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Texas Tech's just not going to let him come for air, I guess. Well, this defense has just been stifling. They've shut down the running game. They've, for the most part, limited the big plays in the pass game. They've got a nice lead here in the fourth quarter. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here. But that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. yard line. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch. That's fun to see. Kill, kill. Blue four. Blue four. That makes 
six first and ten. ten. Go hey, kill, kill, kill! Orange three! Orange three! three. Dumps it out left to the running back. He's gobbled up in the backfield. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. From the 23-yard line, second down. Just under three to go in regulation. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Bears. Boy, did he look determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a seven-play, 74-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. And he's tackled at the 39. Now they practiced all week this week, and they told us yesterday, Brad, that they felt pretty good about what they put in, the plan that they had. And I think now that you see them playing today, it's no wonder they felt so good. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Makes it out to about the 29. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 29. Again, he'll get the call. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. down and they need to get it to the 19. Just over a minute left. Looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Kicks up, and he nails the long field goal. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 34-13, Texas Tech. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Well, this was shaping up to be a really close game, but they did what they had to do, made some big plays, and were able to pull away. Texas Tech had a really tough matchup coming in, but they were prepared, motivated, and came away with a really solid win.
That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.